for similar results. But uh, just I close with, with a couple of, of, of things we are doing now that we think could be very useful and all very interesting to pursue in the future. One is that, uh, well, uh, we like to think that what we did is just the first step. We didn't use, in no sense, and actually this was complemented to what the Siemens folks was doing, we didn't use in no sense what is available in biobanks, for example, or textbook or whatever, what I like to call the digital, or I, what could be called the digital library's knowledge. So we, our approach was definitely only data-driven, and I think, of course, I mean, there is no much you can, not much more you can extract out of those data. And uh, the, the interesting uh, thing to, to explore in the, in the, in the currently in the near future is the interplay in between uh, what is available up, out there and, uh, and these statistical techniques. And the good news is that there are different, or already a few ways we can, we can actually um, explore in, in order to inject this prior knowledge into our, uh, in our methods. And specifically, for those of you who are aware, is like kernel design or the possibility, for example, of uh, uh, as we're working on right now, to develop nonlinear feature selection techniques. That's all. Thank you.